Bill, uh, we've been working from home almost a year now. Majority of the people, some are working from home, some working in the offices. But I feel that the communication between a leader or between an employer and an employee has kind of changed. And sometimes people are seeing where they're living, their backgrounds, you know, their cats, their dogs, their, uh, their, uh, their, their kids. Uh, their kids. Yeah, they're jumping yeah. in, they're coming in. So it's becoming kind of natural. But I feel that the communication kind of changes, become more personal, it's more become more approachable. But what do you think leaders should be doing during this time, especially if they're giving feedback or if they're giving performance reviews? Now that they're not seeing, they're not, not in front of them, but they're doing the job. Yeah, I think that, first of all, I agree with you that one of the good things about us working virtually is we do literally get a peek into people's lives. I get to see where you live. I get to see the background. I love it. I don't have kids, but I love it when I'm on a Zoom call with someone and their toddler walks in and they pick them up and put them in their lap. (laughs) Yes. Versus that famous BBC viral yes. video where the yes. kids came <laughs> like, no, in close during, away. <laughs> during the interview. So there is a good part of it. But yes. the, the things that leaders and managers have to understand is that what is missing mm-hmm. when we're all working from home is that casual, unscripted, spontaneous conversation yes. that we're having just passing each other in the halls that ability as a manager to kind of just pick up through visual cues, physical cues, uh, something's wrong with him. Mm. You, don't, you don't have that interaction yeah. as much anymore. So what I'm telling the managers and executives that I work with is you need to schedule time for that. Mm. Things that happen casually, things that happen spontaneously in the office saying like, hey, Meher, come in, let's grab a coffee. I want to see how you're doing. That is not happening as yeah. much when we're working from home. So you have to make time for that. You have to say, hey, once a month, we're just gonna do a check-in and we can do it on Friday afternoon. We can grab a beer, literally virtually yeah, have so a beer yeah. <laughs> together, but, but I'm gonna check in with you because yeah. I'm not getting as much opportunity to do that when you're working from home. Yeah, yeah, I totally agree. A lot of times those small check-ins or even maybe even starting and meeting, how are you doing? How are the yeah, kids? how's the family? Exactly, yeah. and, and we don't, because we don't have physical interaction, there are things that a lot of things that we pick up physically yeah. by just watching someone. And I can just tell by the way they're holding themselves that mm-hmm. something's wrong here. And, mm-hmm. and we, we just don't have that capability as much yeah. when we're living in this virtual world. Yeah, I totally agree with you. Thank you for those great tips, Bill. And for the audience watching or listening, if you have any other tips in terms of communication during COVID time during remote working, please leave comments below and tune in next time for my final question with Bill.